I'm all signed up to go to Atlantic City. <laughs> but I got to go to uh, Fort Lauderdale Airport. Never been there before. Spirit Airlines. That's the only uh, plane I could get with decent time to go to Atlantic City. And am I going to Atlantic City? Who knows? The governor there is pondering shutting the whole state down, making people stay at home. <laughs> so that would be the end of my trip. But I'm planning on it. You already paid for it. Now, I was, I'm going to Fort Lauderdale International Airport. Never been there before. And I'm trying to figure out, how do you get to the parking garage? Well, why am I trying to figure out how to get to the parking garage in advance? Because one thing about these big airports, if you miss the entrance to the parking garage, you may have to go around the entire city <laughs> and come back and try again. And when you're trying to catch a plane, you ain't got a half hour to mess around going back around and attempting to uh, find the parking garage again. And I found an entrance on Google, looking on the Google Maps, the entrance to what I think is the parking garage. But there's no sign there, entrance to parking. Uh, either Google missed it or there is no sign. So if there's no sign at that entrance, how do I know that's the right entrance to the parking garage? Well, I would guess. Okay. What happens if it turns out it's not the entrance to the parking garage? Go back around the entire airport trying to figure out to make another pass at it. And then how do you are you sure you're gonna make it the second time into the proper parking garage? I said to myself, forget it. I love to use airport parking because you drive there, park your car, and go to the counter. But it's not, it's not that easy. I have to use off the, off the airport parking in a lot. So I already signed up for a lot to go into. At least I can find this lot. Uh, no problem finding the lot. And then... I get on the, the, the shuttle and let them take me to Spirit Airlines. So as much as I want to park at the airport, it's, it's a losing situation. Yes, for people who fly a lot out of that airport or any big airport, once or twice they make a mistake, but they got it down pretty good. But for someone who's coming for the first time, do I want to go round and round that airport for an hour trying to find the proper entrance to the parking garage now. If it was clear on Google Maps how to get into that parking garage, I would do it, but it wasn't clear. Uh, the road it looks like to get into the parking garage was just, you couldn't, you couldn't get onto it on Google Maps. So the whole thing's a guessing game. I signed up for off uh, par property parking I know how to get there. It's easy to get there. And this actually is cheaper, but I didn't care about the price. So this is what happens when you try to park at an airport parking garage, a big airport. You got problems finding the entrance to that garage. And then you want to get parked near where your, uh, your airline is. You could end up, oh yeah, I get in the garage. And then you're a half a mile away parked from where the airline is. And probably no signs on the building inside the garage saying which way <laughs> to your airline. So you just take a guess and you start walking around, walking around, walking around. That's why get off, air, get off the airport and get the regular parking where you take a shuttle. They know where they're going and it's all over nice and convenient.